everybody. Welcome to the next cast. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Tyler. I, it has been a minute, Tyler, since we've actually done a podcast. And Matt's Tyler, Matt, Matt's collars, Matt's Tyler, Matt's collar <laughs> is really bad. Uh, I, I was trying to fix it before we started, but it's not, it's still curling. <laughs> Who knew? I don't know how to iron worth a shit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the next cast. We we have taken a few weeks off. We 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 did one like in the middle of, of of a break, but we will we will string some episodes together now. We we are we're back from our real life shenanigans, and we, everything should be settling down now. Hopefully, so uh, we should be able to string a few together and get back on track. Hopefully. Anyways. This is a Linux cast. We talk about Linuxy things, and Matt's not looking at the camera again because what? When is he? Uh, <laughs> probably should probably should learn how to do that, Matt. You make a few videos every once in a while. <laughs> Who needs to look at this thing? Come on now. <laughs> Took a few weeks off. Have no clue what I'm doing. What else is new? Just putting that out there. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a color scheme tier list. Now I know that if you listen to the audio version of this, you're like, oh god. This is going to be the worst episode ever because I can't see what a like you can just so there's a color scheme named Afterglow and we're going to rank that and um, the audio listeners like what does that look like <laughs> so so if you're uh, if you're listening to the audio version of this and you actually make it past this point bless your heart if you if you uh, don't we apologize for that go on YouTube or on Odyssey or whatever or, or PeerTube. And watch the video version. Uh, we apologize for doing a video basic topic that is video only. <laughs> so we, we'll go back to our regular shenanigans after this. We, we're, that's why we don't do tier lists every day. But, you know, I, again, I apologize to the audio listeners. We'll try to make it as audio friendly as possible. But you can't describe a color scheme as well as you probably should. But anyways, there's that. That's what we're going to do. Before we do, we're going to... Talk about our weeks since we haven't talked in a while in open source. I'm going to go first because I have rants. Is it okay if I go first? Good. Yeah, I was actually going to say <laughs> I want like I wanted to hear yours first. It's okay. been a while. I, I know we got a lot to catch up on. I have a couple, but so I have been setting up a home lab. I bought a. I, I did not do it the way Josh told me to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, Josh, for not listening to you. But I did it the way that I, I needed to do it. So Josh sent me a computer case that would work well for a NAS. It has a whole bunch of hard drive enclosure spaces in it and stuff like that. But I have had no clue, no interest in building another computer. I have no interest in it whatsoever. I don't want to get all the parts. I don't have to worry. I don't want to have to worry about things not working together or things being broken or Matt not knowing how to do shit. I didn't want to do that. I wanted something pre-built. So. And I looked into just getting an actual NAS, like from Synology or whatever, and those things are expensive as fuck. Uh, I didn't, so I didn't want to do that. So what I ended up doing was I had, or I ordered a old, like Dell Optiplex machine with a, like a i7 47 something or the other, and it's a few years old. And I set that up, and then I got an external hard drive enclosure with eight bays. Now. Everyone tells you don't use USB storage. Like, don't use it because it's very unreliable. I've been using USB storage for 20 years. It's fine. I know how to deal with it. You know, I, I'm sure there are reliability issues, but as long as I have backups, I'm going to be fine. I know it's not the right way to do it, but it's the way that I need to do it. Got it all set up. Got the hard drive closure. Got two 12 terabyte hard drives, and I shucked a, four, or a, eight, a 16 terabyte hard drive out of an external drive, put all those in there, got the RAID array going, and the, the RAID array, I talked about this on the lug this past Thursday, and the, the RAID was really easy, got it all set up, got all of my data from the external hard drive transferred over to the RAID array. Everything worked fine, took about three days to transfer over 10 terabytes of data, but it was fine. Because I was transferring over USB two, <laughs> so that's oh my a god! Yeah, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> well, that machine doesn't have USB three. It wasn't around yet. Okay, <laughs> that's how I didn't old even it was. Think of that. Okay, that's good. So my plan for that home lab is to set up several things. So I want to run Plex on it. I want to run Nextcloud. I want to run like Image. I want to run a couple things, like quite a few things. And I want to play around. Steve has talked about Docker a lot and all of his Docker stuff. He's gotten me interested, so I'm going to try out some of this stuff. But Plex was the main reason I wanted to do this, because I, I didn't want to run Plex, Plex on this main machine anymore, just because I wanted to actually be able to turn it off at night. 
or turn it off during the day if I want to, without you know interrupting my ability to stream music. Which I could, that way I can you know get rid of Spotify and get rid of Apple Music, all this stuff. I had forgotten just how horrible Plex is with external hard drives. Like, oh my God, I for and I for I. Like, like, you go a while without doing with Linux permissions, and you forget how fucking horrible Linux permissions actually are. Like, they are so fucking confusing. And even when you think you understand... Like, I've been using Linux full-time now for six years, maybe seven years. And, you know, I thought I knew permissions, but it turns out I don't know shit. So I've been struggling for two days trying to get Plex to actually see my directories of music and movies and TV shows. Still haven't been able to do it. I've done everything you can think of. Everything you can think of. So I started off with it mounted in my home directory. Not the best thing, but I thought if I had it in the home directory, I'd have a better job of dealing with the permissions because it wasn't all root. Wasn't a good idea, but it was fine. I figured, you know, I figured I could still work around that by giving it the appropriate permissions. Like I could, um, I ended up giving it 775, Four, I gave it 775 permissions. Both of those, neither one of those worked. I changed, I added the Plex user to the Mac group. That didn't work. I, add, I added the Mac user to the Plex group and gave Plex ownership of the directories. That didn't work. I changed, I changed the whole damn pile path to 777 permissions. Like that was like literally blown wide the fuck open. And it still did not work. <laughs> so that was in the home directory. So I was like, at this point, I was still transferring over data. So I was like, I'll wait until all the data is transferred over. And then I will I will change the FS tab so that it instead mounts in the root directory or, or in M MNT or whatever. And we'll do it from there. That helped a little bit so that I could actually... So it, Plex was always able to see the directory where I had it mounted, but it couldn't see anything in it when it was in the home directory. Now I moved it to the root directory. It can see the directories in there, but they're all grayed out and I can't navigate to the actual directories that have the, the media in it. And, and that's with going through and doing all of the, you know, adding to a different group, adding Plex to the group, changing to the ownership, changing the permissions so that, you know, they have proper permissions and all this stuff. I've done all of that. Still won't let me do it. I'm at a loss as to what to do next, to be honest with you. Because my only thing left to do is to give the entire drive 777 permissions. Like, the entire... I don't want to do that because... This drive has not just media, it has all my tax documents on it, all family photos. I really don't want to give Plex, this random Plex, which has access to outside ports and bullshit, you know, access to all of that. I would really prefer not to do that, but that's the literally the only thing left I have left to try. I, I've put a help tech support issue in my Discord. If anybody knows how to fix this or is interested in helping me work through this, uh, join my Discord. Help me in the in the tech support thing that I put up there because I could, I could use it. I am at my wits' end with this, and it just drives me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> like I like I I don't think that there's a combination of permissions on that directory that I haven't used. And, and the thing is, like I've used I, I've done the whole recursive thing, so I, I've made it so that it can see the drive or the directory that the drive is mounted to and the directory that the media is in and then the all the directories that are inside of that so every subdirectory so I did did all that still didn't work drives me bonkers so I haven't had a chance to get nextcloud or any of the other stuff up and running I've been fucking around with Plex it's driving me nuts so I hate you Linux permissions with a, with a passion I'm going to use Windows I I I am happy that at least one person believed you when you said that like <laughs> was like oh okay so he is gonna move uh, he is gonna move a window <laughs> okay <laughs> no. uh, actually my I'm doing something extraordinarily similar to what you're doing like very very similar I'll let you know how m m my experience goes because I'm using Jellyfin instead of Plex I don't I think it'll be all that different I tried Jellyfin couldn't get it to work either 
<laughs> really? Still couldn't see the fucking drives. But I think that the reason why I couldn't get to see couldn't get to see the drives is because at that point I'd been messing around with Plex for two days, and Plex still had ownership of the directories. So I'll need to change those back and see because I used the, je- the the flat pack of Jellyfin, and that ran fine on this PC here. And you just have to give it permission with Flat Seal. But I think because of the way I had the permissions, I've just messed around with the permissions way too much. Uh, I think that's the reason why. I'm sorry I interrupted you, but yeah, that's I, no, I've, tri- no. I've tried Jellyfin. No, so yeah, that's what uh, that's what I'll be trying. But my are you, it, 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 is that all for your week? I'm sure I'll come up with something else. Just go go ahead. <laughs> cool. Well, go ahead. <laughs> so here's what I've been up to. I am selling. I sold my car, and I'm moving all of my like savings and stuff around, and. So in that process, I'm I'm getting a new vehicle, I, and I also bought probably the most reckless purchase I've ever I, ever made. I went to the Apple Store. Oh God! And spent <laughs> a ridiculous sum of money. So essentially, the the catalyst for all of this is I am going to be moot. Like I'm going to be going up to Kentucky. I'm going to be traveling just a lot more throughout the year. And I've got an audio interface, a nice camera and stuff. And I've got this like nice setup and I'd like it to be more mobile. So my plan and idea was get something very pow- like very power efficient that still has good performance. will last me at least a while. And, um, then take my desktop computer and turn it into an actual like family, like the entire home server. I've really wanted to take my entire desktop and turn it into a server for a long time that I can access remotely and work off of. So that's what I did. I spent over $2,000 at the Mac store. And this is the most incredible part of this. I go in there ready to drop the most money I have ever at one time spent on a computer ever in my life. The lady looks at me like as she's going through my order, like, you know, they're going to the back to get it and everything. And she's going through the order and looks at me and goes, decent order. Decent? Decent? Like, what? (laughs) No, this is a great order. (laughs) But yeah, so I got, um, I got my desktop computer all set up in another room of the house. I've got Proxmox running on it which it like it's been i i have tried proxmox before and installed it before i have not done that in a long time and so going back over proxmox has actually been very enjoyable one of the smallest features of proxmox but is probably like my favorite feature is they have a markdown readme file that you can just like edit in there and like keep track of like your goals for the server things you need to work on like stuff like that which i just find to be awesome but yeah so the experience with uh a mac so far has been surprisingly good but i'm not giving up on any of the like nice things i had before like i still have my linux box i'm i'm, I'm going to be able to expand it more have a jellyfin server next cloud. i'm doing pretty much the same shit you are with yours i'm i'm making a, a you know a centralized server home lab for the house so um Pretty excited about all that. I can't believe you bought a Mac. <laughs> I, no, no, I can believe it. I'm. <laughs> yeah. Well, really, in all honesty, you, I mean, you, you were talking to me when I had my sister's M1 MacBook Air, and I was very impressed with that thing. But it was just too anemic, and also, I don't just want a Mac, like. I couldn't do, I, I like Linux. I really, really like Linux and Linux is just not going to be good on Apple Silicon for a long time. So, so are you going to try, are you going to try Asahi, Asahi or whatever it is, Linux on it? I don't think Asahi supports past the M2 line, but if support comes and it's decent, and when I say support come in, it's decent. That means GPU acceleration is at least functional. Yes, I will give it a shot, actually try it out on it, but I am kind of nervous about it. Like, I will not ever make the statement that I'm definitely going to run Linux on this thing, only because the battery life is 
redonk like it is absolutely redonkulous. It is so good. Absolutely like the best. But if Linux, you know, has really good battery life on it, who knows? Maybe that's maybe that is what I'll end up running. Hopefully. Cool. So eventually we're gonna be doing the Linux cast from a van. Mm-hmm. That should that should be cool. Well, maybe. Maybe. My whole family was not too keen on me buying property out, out of state going and building. So uh, they've they've all convinced me to just put my money in savings. Wait. <laughs> Don't do that. I, I, I'm sorry, but you just know that if that does happen, if he ends up in the back of a van to do a like even just like one episode, he just he, he he everyone knows that the reason why he's doing this is so he can go into a McDonald's parking lot, have a shit ton of nuggies right there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so, so he can Ooh. troll Matt the whole episode. So he he can just ha- he can just do it from the driver's seat and just keep going around and ordering nuggies every five minutes. Do you know how <laughs> epic that would be? Do a live stream from a van where like it's done up on the inside where it kind of looks like a super just a really small apartment space or something like that. And like I'm sitting there eating nuggies, doing the podcast, still kind of messing with you. And then, like towards the end of the podcast, I just sling the van door open, and you just see a McDonald's in the background. <laughs> you're like, hold like, on, boys, I gotta go get more. It's like a McDonald's employee. Like you know, you're like in the the mobile drive up order <laughs> spot, and there's somebody bring you out nuggies. <laughs> That would be great. Like ten minutes into the podcast, you just hear a knock on the van, slide it open. Oh, thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Grab the McDonald's. <laughs> like, damn it! You forgot the sauce. <laughs> you forgot the sauce. <laughs> ah, that's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like that, dude. Probably might have to do that. <laughs> okay, so here's the question that I have to ask you about all of the stuff you're doing. You were big into NixOS here about half a minute ago. What's going on with your NixOS stuff? You still could plan on working on that or what? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nothing, I guess I should have said that, nothing's changing with the Zany OS stuff. Um, that's that's getting a pretty decently powered virtual machine, and I'm going to pass in my graphics card into that so I can use that for, like, gaming and um, have a, like, gaming VM. Now, obviously, I, competitive shooters, because it's a VM, most likely if I play those, I'm going to get banned. But luckily for me, I don't play a lot of competitive shooters anyway, so that's not really my, like, big interest. So w- I am pretty excited to be able to, like, once I have that set up, I'll be able to literally play, like, DayZ on my MacBook, no problem. So I'll be able to game, do all my Zany OS development. So nothing's really changing. It's just going to be, instead of Zany OS being, like, l- literally my laptop's main operating system i'll just be using it from the computer i was originally using it from anyway makes sense okay i have another rant (laughs) i just going going right back to it so just this is just a quick one and this isn't anything new but i just wanted to say this if you pay for 12 terabytes you should get 12 terabytes by the way like uh, this is a problem. Obviously, it's been around for the since the history of computers. But you buy you buy twelve a twelve terabyte hard drive, or you give it four terabytes, or whatever. You only get like three quarters of what you pay for. Like, just advertise what they actually are. Like, if it's a, it's a ten point nine terabyte hard drive, it's not a twelve terabyte hard drive. Like, it's not because I don't have access to those twelve. It, that drives me nuts. Anyways, that's that was my rent. Like, so I bought I found this place. Where where's my browser like like there's this place called let me see if i can f- actually find it i can't see anything uh it's it's called server part deals and that's where i got the hard drive from so they're they're, they're like uh manufacturer recertified hard drives and they were like at 12 terabytes for 100 bucks so i got two of those and, and eventually i will go through and you know get some more from there and, and they they're gonna work fine like I, i'm sure people say oh don't buy don't buy used or whatever um but <laughs> the hard drive problem still drives me nuts like and, and it's like 40 years later, and it's still a problem. So, there. Then another rant. Okay. <laughs> did we start a... Did we, did we start a, a Apple hate in the in the chat? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, so absolutely. I, I heard somebody say, well, you should, then you should just get an iPhone. I'm like, Tyler already has an iPhone. <laughs> I literally already have an iPhone. I have an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. Like, 
I do have all of those things, so... It- Just so we can alienate people who really hate Apple, I too have an iPhone. If it makes anybody feel better, I have a Linux phone here. It's um, garbage, but it's here. <laughs> well, I mean, I like I have six Android phones. Like, I mean, like I don't know. Like, it, it, it's one of those things where, like, I don't love Apple as a company, but I do like their phones and the integration between all of my devices is nice. I mean, do I think it's better than like Linux? No, because you can pretty much replicate all of those features on Linux anyway. It's it's not as tightly integrated as like neat, but still does the same job. So the thing that keeps me on iPhone, just random uh, offshoot, is the Apple Watch. Like the Apple Watch is just miles and away better than any Android watch that's out there. It just absolutely is. So, and I'm a watch guy. Like I have a watch on. Like I don't know if you can see this. I have a watch on. It's, it's just the way it's been. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Way too many tangents. We do need to get back on, get on track here and actually do this thing. We're, we're running on 4 o'clock. So let's go ahead and talk about color schemes. So again, if you're on the audio version of this, uh, we'll do our best. We will post a uh, the copy of the tier list after this on Mastodon. And I'll post a link to it in the video description as well when I post these uh, later on. So uh, that way, if you want to see where they are, we'll also, I will also link to the website where we're going to find the vast majority of the schemes. So if you want to actually see the schemes that we're talking about, you can go to this website. And by the way, I found it, I found it in like five minutes. So actually, can you... Still kind of jealous about that. Well, no, I'm just saying the, this thing has a, a link where you can download all the color schemes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this website's kind of awesome anyways i will also post this in the chat just now so you guys can actually see these see this here so this has a link of all, all like i don't know there's there's hundreds of these color schemes so we're, we're gonna go through a few of these we're gonna we're gonna start off with the, the big ones so that we don't have to because um, nobody knows what blue 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 loco zsh light actually is turns out um but Anyways, the way we're going to do this is we'll do this in GIMP. I, I don't have color schemes, don't have logos, so I couldn't upload logos to the thing that we did we used last time. So we're just going to kind of uh, cheap out and use just regular GIMP on this, and it should be fine. So, first, uh, let's go ahead and rank one dark. Tyler, what do you think? One dark, where should it go? I'm going to have to say, I mean, it's good, but. It's not the best. It's got to go up towards the top, though. It's one dark. I have problems with one dark, but it's not one dark's fault. My problem with one darks is that there's so many freaking offshoots of it that look exactly the fucking same. Now, like I said, that's not one dark's fault. Nobody he didn't ask to get forked nine thousand times, but it did. <laughs> I think I have one dark fatigue. But you're right; it probably should should go at the top. So. B tier, A tier. What do you think? I think it's B tier. B tier. It it's great. It's not perfect. One dark. Okay, <laughs> that's how we're gonna do it, guys. We're just gonna we're just gonna type it in the tier. That's all we're gonna do. All right. So uh, the chat says S tier, but uh, that's that's not true. There's there's only one color scheme that's S tier. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is well. I mean, that is true. That is true. We're going to disagree we'll on this. We'll get to it, though. We're going to disagree on this. So oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So let's uh, let, let's go to another one here. Let me open up. So let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and do Dracula next. Dracula. Where do you think that should go? Uh, Dracula is an A tier. A tier. It's objectively gorgeous. It works with pretty much everything. They've, they've made it. Like, it, you don't have to do any work to get that color scheme in pretty much any program. A tier. I think I can agree with that. You could make a case for it being S tier, but it's it, it's close. Like it's close to S tier. Like I I would be ha- the way I would define S tier is that I could use it for a long period of time and not get sick of it. You know what I mean? Like Nord, I'd get sick of it very fast. One Dark, I'd get sick of it very fast. Like there are a lot of them. Like I could use it for a little, like one or two days, but eventually, uh, like uh shades of blue right like everything's fucking shades of blue like there are other 
fucking colors other than blue. Like, come on. Like, at least, like, Dracula took purple. <laughs> you know, that's good. It's great. It's, it's something different. So, yeah, I, I agree A tier, but very close to S tier. All right. Let's see if we can... Caput... You call it Capuchin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Capuchin. Capuchin. I, 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 cap, it's like... It's like cap, Cappuccino, like, but without the yeah, O, right? Yeah, it's... <laughs> supposed to be, but everyone just calls it cat poochin. Let, let's just pause for a second and, and acknowledge that this is the worst fucking name for a color scheme ever. <laughs> yes. okay. yeah. It's so bad. And like, like at least let us pronounce it. All right, let, let, where are we going to put cat poochin? And I'm not going to spell it right, by the way, in, in Grove. Some people are going to complain about this, but I think it is also an A tier. I think it, it sits right above one dark, but like inside of the category it should go below dracula like dracula is great capuchin does a lot of what dracula does but you know obviously with its own style so i'd have to say a just because all the usability like capuchin is just as easy to onboard than dracula i i would agree with that also it has a huge ecosystem like dracula does so you can find your gtk themes qt themes terminal schemes Basically, anything you want to find has a version of for, for or has an uh, an option for that, which is good. Uh, I think that that's important for high level tiers to have. Like a lot of these are just great terminal themes that like somebody went to terminal sexy made a nice theme, and that's like all you can do is get it for a terminal. You can't find a GTK theme to go along with it. You can't find a browser theme to go with it and stuff like that. So I think I think in order for anything to be above a C tier for me, it has to have all those things. So I agree A tier on Capuchin. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's it's a nice thing, and it has variations which are good. The main one's the best, but I know a lot of people are, are really high on some of the the, off, the offshoots of it. So there, there's, there's uh, Mo- Mocha, Macchiato, Latte, which is the light version, uh, nobody uses that. Frappe, so there's there's like four different versions. Does anybody actually use the light version? It doesn't look very good, um, to me honestly. It just looks very you know light. But I'm gonna we'll try to rank some light versions that are good. We'll get there. Um, but anyways, yeah. So there's that one. You got a you got a next one that you'd like to to rank, Tyler? No, well, don't make me come up with all people these. People are bits. asking. People are asking about Tokyo Night, so I think we should go ahead and rate that one because that one is a very popular one. Well, where do you think that one should go? Okay, so I'm, I'm actually trying to show these on screen as we as we come up to them now. Is it just me or does that look exactly like Capuchin? <laughs> I, I know Tokyo Night was around first, but they look very similar, don't they? They look really alike, and they're both like again that blue background. Like it's nice. I was just say I would say B t- B tier because it looks like a one dark clone kind of. I don't I don't know what the ecosystem looks like. I don't think I've ever actually used it for any long period of time. What about you? What do you think? I have used Tokyo Night. I do really like Tokyo Night, but it is very similar to One Dark, and I don't think Tokyo Night has as m- has as many like software support built in where you don't have to go and build a config for it, integrate it. I I would probably say like I'm torn between B and C on this one. Mm, look at this again. To, to, so they ha- has variations. Tokyo Night, Tokyo Night Light, Tokyo Night Storm. To, Tokyo Night Regular looks actually better than the others. I don't know. Yeah, I could be I could be sold on B or C. I say we just because it does have variants, all of that stuff. Probably put it with one dark. Okay. All right. We've done that one. All right. What's next? So let's go ahead and do. What's the name? Oh, uh, let's see if they have it. So let's see. Ambiance. Is that is that the name of the the Ubuntu one's ambiance? No. No, it's I think it's Yaru. Yaru. It used to be something with like so we don't have a Yaru here. We'll go with Yaru. I know a lot of people actually use this. Let's see if we can find a picture of it. Yeah, that's that's Yaru. Some people still use this. So what do you think where do you think Yaru should go? So it, it's not as uh, eggplanty as it used to be. I think it should get a solid D tier, only because it is. I, I don't. I don't know anyone using them. 
Like, I, I don't know anyone installing Yaru everywhere, you know? Well, unless they use Ubuntu. <laughs> well, exactly. All right. Yaru, I can, I can live with Yaru. Okay, so what about um, Solarized? Shit, man. I put it below One Dark in Tokyo Night. I put it at C. Ain't a bad. It, it's a good thing. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I can't. Look, I, can't. I, I, I think it's a good theme. It's readable. It's just one of those, like, their choice in colors is either you're going to like it or apps, like, and when I say like it, I mean really like it. Like, you're going to use it for a very long time or you literally can't even stand the sight of it. It's actually upsetting. It's the ugliest color scheme, like, by far. Uh, but I think it's also the most polarizing color scheme because you're right. The people who like Solarized love it. Like, will swear by it because it's like the most contrasty of contrasty, which it's not, by the way. It's not white on dark. That is <laughs> white on black. That's that's the most contrasty of contrasty. So, I don't know. I, I would do E, but if, if you – can we split the difference on D? I like it. Let's do it. All right. Solarized is for boomers. Damn, man, I love chat. Uh, I think that we're gonna piss off all the solarized people. I just, I just, <laughs> I just say there's a, they're very, they're very passionate about it. So, okay, just somebody named their color scheme Vag. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, 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 like, I was just scrolling through here, and I was like, oh, there's one called Vag. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> I'm going right back to you. Gotta, you gotta love the internet, man. Yeah. All right, we gotta go back to the top. All right. Well, uh, you have another one. Well, I mean, we could do Nord, or what was the other one that someone said that I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Color. Let's do Nord. Where do you think Nord which Nord should be? Uh, I think okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a very controversial opinion. I think it is a D tier. I don't think that's very controversial. At least it's not controversial with me. I'd say your E tier, and the reason why is because if you look, let, let, let's actually look at the the color scheme. If, if we go to the Nord color scheme, if you just look at the the palette, it's literally shades of blue. Like yes, it has red, orange, yellow, green, and purple, but m most of it is just literally even the green is blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. there's no there's no contrast whatsoever, really in in Nord. Uh, like uh, it's not very good. Now, it can be made to look good. Like if you're a really good themer and you know how to do things to make it look good, you can make it look good. But I don't know. I I, I a lot of people are saying A or B tier. A or B tier. <laughs> like I don't. I, I would heavily disagree with that. Like, do you guys really think that Nord goes with One Dark and Tokyo Night? I know in terms of popularity, it probably does. If we were just doing a popularity contest, it'd probably be up there. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Chat sometimes gets me. Someone just commented, <laughs> Nord was made by a three-year-old. Trust me. <laughs> it is just blue. All right, so I'm going to go... I agree with you, D tier. By the way, we, we didn't put this up front... But when we did our distro tier list, people were like, this is the most stupid thing ever. This is just a whole bunch of opinions. Of course it's fucking opinions, dude. It's all opinions. Did we start the podcast off with, like, don't get too upset. This is literally just our opinion. I'm pretty sure we said that, like, 12 <laughs> times during the distro tier list version. We, didn't, we haven't said it this time, but this is these are all opinions, okay? All, everything's subjective. If you like Solarized... That's awesome. I'm glad you like it. Does don't make me look at it, okay? Like, <laughs> like it's fine. Wait, Matt, I I think me and you can both agree that we definitely, and there's no sarcasm in this statement. We definitely define objective truth. <laughs> yeah, hundred <100%. laughs> percent. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay, next one, uh, Grovebox. Where's your? I'll let you go first because I I have I have uh, everyone knows my opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna piss off a lot of people. C. Did you just, did you just say C tier? Get C? off. Get yeah. off. Get off my <laughs> podcast. All right. You could you could win me over to making it higher only because recently I discovered there. I don't know because I do have a few different light light themes. I can't remember which one it was that I I tried and have been using on the Zany OS install on my desktop for like 
a week or two, but it's a grub box light theme and it is actually decent. Like the light theme is the best light theme. That's not saying that much because it's still, you know, a light theme. Yeah. The dark hard and the regular dark are by far the best color schemes in the universe. Period. I will not accept a C tier for Grubbox. I will riot before I let you <laughs> you do this a C tier. Now, if you'd said A tier, I'm fine. You know, I don't want to be an. I understand I'm biased because it's my color scheme and I can't do without it. But C tier, Tyler. <laughs> something was in your weed this morning when you smoked it that was obviously not healthy for you you need to go to a doctor and find, get that shit checked out <laughs> I, I told you I don't upset a lot of people I just don't like I don't like most of the grub box themes I don't think they're objectively terrible but there is an argument to be made that it is quite close to a um, poo poo colored um, scheme there is a lot of brown <laughs> okay so someone compared <laughs> i know in your head all you wanted to say was just fuck you that's all you wanted to say yes <laughs> but so someone in the chat and i can't pronounce their name just compared it to solarized first off you're banned second of all you're banned third of all no i it, it they don't look anything like but the idea is is true. Like, if you like Solarized, you really like Solarized. If you don't like Solarized, you don't like Solarized. Like we said, with Grubbox, it's kind of the same. If you like it, man, do you really like it. If you don't like it, you probably hate it. But, C tier, Tyler? C tier? All right, look. How, how, like, how are we going to. I think. How, how are we going to compromise think, right. this? Because it's definitely yeah, S tier. You're. You want S tier. I'm saying C tier. We can't just evenly meet in the middle. No. So, all right. You make an argument for it being A. And I mean, make a strong argument for it being A. It has contrast. It has a wide ecosystem, as wide as Dracula Cap Capuchin. It has all the colors. It's not just variations of blue. Like, everything else is blue. It has uh, good icons if you use the icon thing. It has support for, you know, good color schemes if you want to, if you use it in Vim. It has awesome syntax highlighting so you can actually see everything. Whereas, you know, a lot of the, the other ones there, because they're all, again, blue, like everything on here other than Solarized and Yaru is a blue thing, basically. Even, you can even argue that Dracula is kind of a blue thing because dr purple is basically blue i don't know colors don't don't listen to me <laughs> the, but you, you get the idea dracula is different it's not like all of the other ones and unlike solarize which could you could also argue is kind of like that it's actually looks good yeah <laughs> like also brown and orange i know people don't like brown a lot of times but if you, you just look at the, the old brown orange and yellow they go together really, really good. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. Get your head out of the gutter. It's fine. No, I'm not. I'm not laughing at what you said. It's someone in chat, they, uh, <laughs> your box looks like an unhygienic Indian street food. <laughs> I don't know why they got me as good as it did. <laughs> ban, ban that person. Also, oh, Glow, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> Chill the fuck out. I, 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 look, I timed him out for sixty seconds. It's just a. I, th I think he knows better, but he got all, all excited with the S tier. He wanted to agree with you. Oh, well, in that case, I'm banning him. <laughs> anyway, <I'll> go, <laughs> <you're> right, <man. laughs> Remove the timeout. <laughs> you must come back. All right, look. I'll concede A is a good spot for it. We're, we're going to have no S tiers, by the way. <laughs> Zero S tiers. All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> fine. All right. <laughs> fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, all right, chat. Throw us around some some themes, will you? What's what's next? Okay, let's we can go back to our list here while we're waiting for for chat to to save us. Yeah, chat is is pretty delayed. So there's quite a few here. Oh, Everforce is a good one. Where's Everforce going, Tyler? That one is a good theme, but I don't think that one that one doesn't really have much like of an ecosystem around it. 
it's it's mid. It doesn't have as much as like Dracula or Cap- Capuchin, but it has more than like. Do they have an icon theme? No, I don't think it does. But I might be wrong. But I, I, I don't. I think I just. I used, don't think so. I think I just honestly used the Grove Box theme when I used it because <laughs> it, it, it has green green icons and they kind of fit in. You know. Well, I I think Ever Forced. I, I I could give it a B, but I think it'd be more like a C. Like it's one of those middle of the road ones it's very it's a very it's not a bad theme at all it's a, it's a good theme but i don't think there's a lot of a helping hand given to you with the theme. let me argue for b tier it doesn't ha- it doesn't have as good of a ecosystem as one darker tokyo night that's true but like grove box like solar eyes even though we rank solar eyes bad uh, i did <laughs> uh, it's different like it's not blue like I, I think I'm I'm giving themes that aren't Nord or One Dark based higher marks because they did they use they recognize that there are other colors in the rainbow other than blue, you know what I mean? So I would argue for B just because it's a little like, I, like it, it's different. It has the different thing going for it. What do you think? I'll give it to it. Yeah. All right. Ever forced in the B tier. Now the next one, this one is where, like, if you thought Grovebox set people over the edge, this one's going to really set people over the edge. What's next? Rose Pine. Isn't that just a variation on Everforest? Not really. All right, I guess I'm going to have to go look. Rose Pine theme. Is it Rose Pine? Or Rose Pine? Yeah, like R- Rose Pine. With, with a chicka over the E. Yeah, yeah, with the accent over it. Okay. So I want you to do this. I want you to go to that website for Rose Pine and then also go to the Tokyo Night theme. I love that you're actually trying to pronounce it right. I I just won't. I'm I'm going to call it Rose Pine. So so uh, just I'm just asking you if you go to Tokyo Night and then you go right back to Rose Pine, do they not look exactly the fucking same? Exactly the same. Okay, so here's a uh, here so here's the controversial take. I think Rose Pine is actually an A or an S tier. Wait, what? Rose Pine is actually, it's it's actually unique enough. It's got an entire ecosystem built around it. And it's actively developed. Like, And when I say actively developed, I mean quite active. In your, like, in your browser, literally do this for me, Tyler. Go to the Tokyo Night theme and then go to Rose Pine. They look exactly the same. How can they be unique? How can Rose Pine look be unique if it looks exactly like Tokyo Night. I I literally have Tokyo Night open right now, and I'm looking at it, and they don't look the same. I need. A, do I have G Pick installed? I do. I'm I'm just very fucking curious because I bet you I bet. You, <laughs> all right. So the the base color of let me fuck Wayland. <laughs> it turns out color pickers don't work in Wayland. Why would they? Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay well we can't let's see if we have, the, they have like the color palette here somewhere in, in in okay so the 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 base color of tokyo night regular is 1a 1b i, I knew this would this would upset people and i love the fact that i finally got the message tyler you need a psychotherapist <laughs> uh I need to let's see. Where's the where's like the background for it? How do you have? How do you give the palette without the actual colors? There. Oh, there uh, I found to it. go. I found it. Okay, one nine one seven two four is is the base, but it looks more like two six two three three a. One a one b two one one a one b two six. Uh, one nine one. Okay, they're like, they're like that far off from each other in terms of base. <laughs> okay, but I, I I gotta be honest that that's my opinion. I I think Ro- Rose Pine should be either with Tokyo Night or above it, and I I kind of I kind of personally think it should be right above it. I think Rose Pine is better. Just, just, a, just a little bit. Not like a lot. I have no particular opinion on this, other than the fact that it looks exactly the same as Tokyo Night. Like literally exactly the same. They're all the same colors. How, how about this? Since you have no opinion, and literally every single person 
in chat is like, I need to go get my head checked. Uh, I'm wrong. Uh, we'll, we'll compromise, put it with Tokyo and put it as a big, I think we're, I think Rose. I cannot there. believe I, I I'm in shock right now that we're having this conversation where a color scheme that no one's ever heard of before is a B tier, but Grovebox was a C tier. Okay, <laughs> we can't be friends after this. Okay, we're we're just no longer friends. Okay, <laughs> Rose Pine. I don't have any. <laughs> that's what it was called, right? I don't even know the name. That's how <laughs> not un unknown that was. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Weird. I could tell. I I'm so glad I struck a nerve. <laughs> I'm so so glad. Okay, we have to find another one. So, oh, um, Adwaita. Adwaita. Where do you think that should go? That's like, that's like the default color scheme of Linux. We, like, to me, I, I'd have to say it absolutely has to go as a C tier. Um, it could go way lower in the list, but I think C tier only because it is, okay, I know it's taken a long time, but Adwaita has come a long way from where it started. A lot. The icons have come a long way. The icons were always the worst part about it. Though that beige brown poop color, though that was actual like poop color, <laughs> like like but poop colored if you had too much like water or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like the proper poop color, like Dracula <laughs> or like Grubbox. <laughs> Anyways, the icons have come a long way. They're but they're but they're blue and. I have things against blue colors, um, but yeah, it, it has dark. Actually, looks good. Like you, yes, you can actually look and see like dark looks good. Light is still, but it's a light theme. You can't blame it for being what it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's bad by design, but yeah. <laughs> I love that. There's gonna be like six people in chat who are like love light themes. Are like screw you guys. <laughs> we yeah we have we should try to find one light colored theme. To rank, um, E tier, <laughs> automatic E tier. <laughs> uh, I think the only one light. Like, we should just put light themes in E tier and leave that all that's there. <laughs> oh, just light yeah, just bold it, make it like the font like six times bigger than everything else, and just slap it in there. Light themes. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it. All right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> you guys expected us to take this seriously? What? Come on now. We, we will rank some light theme. That was that was just for fun. But all right. So, um, add way to you said C tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone commented, "There's no way you use Grubbox and then call anything else Dookie colors." <laughs> <laughs> that's true. What do you want from me? It's still the best. It's the best color scheme. Look at look at this it's awesome that is a beautiful list we've got going i know uh anyways so i wait to just see that i think that yeah it gets c just because it is the default of everything don't you think yeah and and it at least now it is a theme that is good enough to be ubiquitous there's like i i definitely think it could use improvement but it is it's definitely contrasty enough for pretty much a majority of people. And it like, it, it works with everything too. Like that is, that is another big thing. Like there, you're not going to find an application where you're like, I mean, this, this is a way to color scheme just literally doesn't even work. Right. Well, yeah, Cause everyone, especially if it's a GTK theme, they all use it. Cause they have to, cause it's exactly GNOME, right. <laughs> all right. Next we'll go to the other default. Breeze, the default of KDE Plasma. Uh, I'm going to be very... That one's hard. I'm going to be very controversial on this. I think this is a D tier. Like, not even that controversial for anybody. It's not that good. It's just not that good. It's not... I mean, it's not... I don't care. Like, the, the problem with it is, as a color scheme, you can make it... Like, if you design your application in a way and use the colors... In a specific way, it can look nice. However, most of the programs I've used with that theme don't look great. If it makes sense, like colors aren't like delineated properly. Like you have, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like in Caden Live, you have a lot of like blue for selections and then like gray 
for selections as well. So like the color scheme will like a lot of applications use breeze in a way where it really does not look well, but I, I don't know that I can count that against. I, I actually think breeze is kind of fine, but a C or D tier is where I'd end up with it anyway. Let's give it a C cause it is kind of on par with Edweta. It's not horrible, but I wouldn't use it. Like, C's, that's what kind of like what C is. It's it's not horrible, but I I would yeah you know I wouldn't use it right. Okay, so uh, breeze. All right, so let's go let's go find something different. Oops, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Material dark. Do you know what this looks like? Yes. Okay, so let's see if I can find it for the audience. Grove, and it's right here. Okay, so this is what material dark looks like right here. <laughs> Another blue background. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay i don't think i've ever used it to be honest with you does let's see if what it has into the color material design no that's gonna be google thing um while finding this is really fucking hard i can send you a link right, please do oh you're gonna send uh, uh, <laughs> damn discord and their multiple places of having shit yep sorry that i <laughs> i tried to pick the one that was easiest and i figured you'd probably be on but uh, where are you gonna actually going to load that thing? I have too many browsers open right now. I have two different browsers. <laughs> so let's copy link. Go here. This is great. 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 Odd, like radio listening for all you guys right now. <laughs> Absolutely. The finest. Well, uh, I mean, I do. This website doesn't have a pal. Or I can't find the palette on it. This is just the this is just the Google material design. This is not the palette. Yeah, I I, th I thought this had the palette on it because uh, I thought it was towards the bottom of the page. No, it's not. It is on that list of that list that um list of on the icon of the color schemes that I sent earlier. It is there. I don't have an opinion on this at all, to be honest with you. I I think it's good, but I probably give it a C. Like, it ain't incredible, but it's it's good. Darth Vader says this isn't the right one. Darth, if you have a link to the thing that you're talking about, then send us what you're talking about, man. If you can't, you probably won't be able to send it in YouTube chat. Send it to me on YouTube or on Discord. Material Neovim is what you said to search for. Oh, okay. Here we go. That looks like solarized, kind of. Did you see that? O Oceanic, deep ocean. Yep, I'm I'm on the repo, and I like the biggest thing for me is like <coughs> the pale night looks like Tokyo night, the deep ocean looks like oh good lord, I'm blanking on the name of it. it it's it's just a darker Tokyo night, like like a cat. It looks similar to Capuchin Mokin, maybe may, or Moko, but with a little bit of brighter contrast. And then Oceanic is literally like, I mean, that's so freaking close to Solarize. It really does look like that. I, and then the darker looks, looks like Grovebox. I mean, I don't, this one, I don't, I don't know about like my biggest thing would be it's designed for NeoVim and I finding references outside of that, like trying to like match up, you know, a specific version of this, like deep ocean uh, to a GTK theme to all that stuff probably is going to be a nightmare. Um, this one I'd give like a D tier. I am not going to be able to disagree with you. I like I the, the darker version does look nice, but again, it's because it kind of reminds me of Grubbox. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of derivative. Sorry, Darth. Um, to be honest with you, uh, so that's material dark. Yeah, where we where are we go here? Let's see. Here. So we're going to go here. Here, so material dark yeah we looked at ever forest we that's ranked here in b tier anybody have anything else for us let's i know we, when i asked for a whole bunch of people let's sit out a whole bunch of them let's see if we can find find one uh nate while you're editing this i'm so sorry for all the silences dude yep. <laughs> really sorry about that flat flat remix was one that was suggested what is it but i don't i don't really have much of a um opinion on that and josh josh just text messaged me arc theme okay yo we should definitely do arc theme um because that's another big one it looks
looks like Nord. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like Nord. It looks exactly like Nord does. Which came first, Ark or Nord? That's the question I have. Because <laughs> one of them's copying the other. <laughs> I am literally. When I search for it, see, all right, this one's going to be an automatic E tier for me, only because when I search for it, the only thing I can actually find that's about a color scheme that's relevant is a. WordPress theme you called the art really bad at Google dude just click on the link in I said in YouTube chat oh Lord okay search for arc th I didn't even spell it right in this, the, the first freaking result how am how am I getting a WordPress theme made for freelancers that cost forty dollars? That's the only what is happening with Google, man? Your Google is broken. What? Man. I worked fine. Like I didn't even like it. I spelled it A R C T H E N M T H N M E. Look, let, let's be honest about what what's actually happening here. Okay, I bought a MacBook. And so Google decided that if I'm not just going to stick to my Linux hardware and I'm going to go buy a hardware, like hardware from a company, if it's not a Chromebook, they're going to make my life a living <laughs> hell. <laughs> That's pro actually probably more true because you're probably using Safari right now. Are you using Safari? I literally am. I swear on God, <laughs> I am. That's probably what's going on. If you're, you, I'm using Chromium and it works fine. <laughs> I'm, that's, I, I, I swear that's what I'm going to have to start using from now on. I can't keep up. Like, this is ter My searches are horrific. <laughs> I think that this has to go with Nord. I mean, because it looks exactly like Nord. It, but it does have an ecosystem. So, there you go. I know that uh, Arco Linux was big on using Arc, Arc for a while. Um, I would... I would where, where, did we, where did we put... Nord, we put Nord in D tier. You think that's about D. where? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, it It seems like it's got a little bit. Well, no, not really. I mean, it is so close to Nord. <laughs> I bet you they're the same color palette. I, I couldn't actually find the color palette. So I don't. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't see the color palette at all. Neither do I. I will say that the, I don't know what desktop environment they're using there. Maybe that's them. It has to be GNOME. But that's a that's a nice looking panel they got there at the bottom. Cool. <laughs> Not nice, nice screenshot there. Arc. They did a good job. So can I just have a little bit of a rant here? The worst color schemes are the ones that don't even bother to put screenshots in their GitHub page. Like they just just assume that you can go find it for yourself. Like that's great advertising, dude. Don't even put a screenshot there. The stupidest thing. Who literally needs to see a color scheme before they use it? Like, why? <laughs> yeah, why would you want to do that? Why? <laughs> I'm sure there are other ones. Let's see. Oh, um, like uh, Sonic Monokai and um, Sonokai are good ones that we could could rank. So what about Monokai? That has a ton of variants. Yes, and it and it also does have pretty pretty good contrast. My only qualm about it, it does have good support for like GTK themes. I think if I remember right, you can find stuff that goes well with it. Like you can use add way to dark with it and it looks fine. I don't think it has a specific one that goes along with it, but I could be wrong about that. But my biggest complaint about it is that it does have a hard time pairing a wallpaper with it. That's not specifically made for it. Gro to be honest with you, Grovebox has that problem too, right? You can't use a really bright wallpaper with uh Grovebox and, and have it look very good, but because it's so popular, there's quite a few made for it. Monokai is a little bit less popular, so there's not nearly as many that are that look very good with it. So that'd be my only my only kind of hit about it. Where do you think that should go? I put it with a C tier. Like it, it's got options. It doesn't really have nearly as many problems as things like Nord, but it's also not something like I. I don't think Monokai is one of those things where you see it and you you have a good color scheme that you're really happy with. And go, oh, I've got to leave. Like, it's not one of the, like, I don't, maybe people in chat will correct me, but I, I've never been looking for a theme and came across Monokai and been like, this is way better. It's a good one. It's a, it's a good color scheme, but I don't know. I, do, I don't think it had, well, I don't know. Maybe you could make a good argument for it being B tier. Yeah. I think I would go with B tier because I think it looks really good and it's not, Again, again, maybe I'm just being biased because it's not blue. 
Like, <laughs> if it's not blue, I'm going to give it a little... If it's not blue and it's not solarized, I'm going to give it a little bit of a pass. And it ha all the variants, it's not like it has... Like, some of, the, some of them have variants. They start off as blue, but they have other, like side variants or whatever this one has variations on what it is and it doesn't blue is not even a a big part of it so i think that i'd argue for b tier yeah i i think we can go with b tier for that technically it's monokai pro but it's okay let's see here so we got a couple of the ones that we should probably talk about let's let's see if i can find them on here nord light that just sounds horrendous uh, <laughs> okay uh let's see let's Oh, Paper Color Light is a good one. So let's talk about Paper Color Light. That's one of my favorite light themes. Not that that's saying much. I still don't use it. Let me see if... Can you can you see Paper Color Light? Because it does... It, I like it because it does have a little bit of contrast. I'll either, even though it does have, you know, problems showing white and white with, with the white version. But what else are you going to expect there? Where do you think this should go? We should, we should rank at least a couple of white themes. Just to be fair. Well, by nature of it being a light theme... It is an E tier. Yes. <laughs> well, let's try to be. Let's let's bring in object objectivity in for the first time in this episode, shall we? It looks okay. Can we call it a D tier? <laughs> I'm trying to be fair. <laughs> All right, D tier. Let's give it to it. D tier. Okay. Uh, paper color light. When GIMP comes out with version 3.0, hopefully they fix the part where the cursors are hard to fucking grab onto things <laughs> yep like, That'd like be very like, nice please just just fix fix it please uh, <laughs> i don't ask for much i don't need much more than just being able to grab things when i point you know i i point there i want to grab i don't want an inch and a half over well there's one called red sands that's kind of looks cool um would you want a, a red background for everything though Probably not. No, absolutely not. It looks no. it looks cool, but you're not finding a GTK theme to go with that. Look, I'm not nine anymore. I don't want my computer user interface to look like a race car. Like I I really don't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> Just put a Ferrari like wallpaper. And, and, and on, then every time I open up, a, good. every time I open up an app and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you could add that sound effect to opening up applications, I'd pay money for you to use it and, for and an then, entire month. Then when you minimize something, you go, meow. <laughs> I, I do love the idea. <laughs> Every time you click a button, bonk, honk, honk. <laughs> Honks the horn. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then when your computer crashes instead of the blue screen of death you just get a, a ba car backfiring sound <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh gosh every time uh every time you get an email or any notification you you just hear the, the engine rev <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh okay uh, uh, then when <laughs> When you get mail or when you send mail, the the it just sounds like static on the radio or something. <laughs> <laughs> just random car noises. Uh. So to match the um, car's interior layout, Steve wants us to talk about or to check out Layin. What's your opinions on Layin? All right, let's look at this thing. So this is it has a GTK thing or a yeah GTK thing that looks kind of cool, purple and like darkish color random dark color does this have like a is there like a, a terminal theme for this i believe so give me one sec there's cavantum themes gtk i'm not coming up with a terminal theme for it i know it's primarily a kde theme but i believe it does have a color scheme well, it has gtk and it has qt and it has cavantum i don't know why i'm looking for this it's not like i'm gonna find it <laughs> in, in your crappy Apple browser there, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the GTK theme looks really nice, but nobody uses GTK themes anymore very much. I wonder what the Cavandum theme looks like. I mean, people use GTK themes, but... Oh, oh, that looks... The the the, the, the Cavandum theme looks nice, too. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. The problem I would have with it ranking it very high is that it's not going to have very much support. This is one of those rare themes that has has GTK and QT support, but doesn't have good support for other things. Like, where's the color palette, Steve? Show me the color palette for 
NeoVim. Like, is is there one for? Like, let's let's find NeoVim. I don't find one, and I'm pretty good at googling. Yeah, I'm I'm not finding it either. It's called Alpuma Dart. Okay, so there is a a a VS Code theme for it. So there's that. Oh my god! Why am I even searching for this crap, man? I can't. I can't even. Find, I'm searching for the exact right thing. And I can't find it. How did he spell that? It's called Alpuma. That's how I spelled A L P U M A. I didn't find it either. Alpuma Home. It takes you to something in Spanish. I don't know. I would say it's more like a mainly because the ecosystem and stuff's not there, but it is a damn good theme like it does look nice it plays very very well with uh its colors i'll give it a c maybe b but i think c because it's just because it doesn't have the whole like ecosystem i am so it. astonishingly mad right now you wanted me to give it a d I, i'm just saying i'm not saying that this is bad but the fact that you're equating it with grovebox because you wanted to give grovebox a c2 <laughs> <laughs> you think these are on the same level? What is wrong with you? You're so high. <laughs> well, you do make a good point there. I don't think it's on par with Grubbox. It's way better. It's an S tier. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> oh, God. All right. That That's just... I, I, how are we even friends? This is obviously a D tier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with D tier. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve, but it doesn't have shit. <laughs> and, and, if, and, and if your argument is, oh, it has a terminal theme, but it's called something else, that's not, it doesn't have its own terminal theme. Okay. <laughs> Create a terminal theme for me. Put it, put, put it up, put it up on GitHub. We'll, when we do this again next time, we'll, we'll try it again next time. <laughs> I mean, it can't really be hard. This is why I don't understand about color schemes that like are like this, where they have GTK, like KDE, like themes, but then they don't have like, terminal or other application themes like literally all you have to do is convert it to a base 16 format and then you can do like easily apply that to pretty much any configuration uh tone key can you t-o-n-e-k-n-e-o i don't know why you keep trying to mispronounce telling me i mispronounce palette that's how you pronounce it is palette did you want me to pronounce it paletti paletti or something that's not how you pronounce it so I'm not sure. What... Palate. <laughs> it, it's a palate. It's, 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 it's pronounced palette. Okay. Color palette. Are we calling it something different? Did we, maybe, <laughs> maybe we've just been using the wrong word the entire time. I don't know. It's possible. Well, Steve, create a dark zero fork of Leon or whatever and put it on GitHub so we can all see it and then coalesce all the stuff that goes along with it into one GitHub repository and, and do your thing. Don't make us go searching all over for VS Code things and calling it something different. <laughs> Nerd fonts are life. Nerd fonts are great. Yeah. All right. I think I've had enough of this. Um, I'm sure there are guys. I'm sure there are others that we missed. We all know Grubbox is the best. It, it just it just absolutely is. So this is this right here is the final where we stopped. We didn't have a single S tier. Ignore the light themes in the E tier. We're, we're, we just did that to be funny. They're fine. If you like light themes, they're fine. I don't. We don't like light themes, though. Those are the like the feels like we're probably big di, missing some big ones. The, are there big ones that we've we've missed? I'm sure there are. I'm sure I'm sure Darth Vader will tell us later on. Pronounce it pal paluete. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, anyways, I we will take a picture of this. I, I will actually save this and put it where you guys can find it if you want to find it. If, if you have thoughts on where things should be ranked and you're not watching this live, leave them in the comment section below. Tell us how wrong we were. If you're watching it, if you're listening on audio and you made it all the way through this nonsense, <laughs> bless your little soul. <laughs> I mean, this is the worst audio ev episode we've ever done. At least with the distro one, we could at least talk about the distros. This is pure visual porn, basically. You, you can't, you can't, you can't, <laughs> It's like watching porn on silent movie. You, you can't get the good part. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> I mean, it was all visual, so we apologize for the audio people. And, and Matt's demonetized again. So what else is new? Anyways, this is why we don't do tier lists very often, because we can't take it seriously. Which is, it's not supposed to be serious. Anyways, that is it. 
uh, for that. <laughs> Thank God that's over. It was fun, though. Um, I'm sure we pissed off everybody that had their favorite favorite theme. Either not ranked or not ranked high enough. Uh, Dark, Darth Vader will probably never speak to me again. Um, just because we, we put his beloved material dark into D tier. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Nuggies of the Week. So, Tyler, do you have a Nuggie of the Week for us? I didn't actually plan one out or I... I actually totally forgot the show notes were a thing. It's uh, I know it's been, been like so four hectic. weeks since we've done yeah. an episode, but even before that, you weren't updating the damn things. I know, I know. <laughs> so I've gotten really bad. I need to, I need to get back on top of it. But, yes. Uh, I guess I'll do Proxmox as mine. Really great. I, I do actually really enjoy Proxmox. Um, I mean, there's other things you could use out there, but it's a very, very good choice if you want to, you know, start your own like little home lab. It's great. I'll probably be looking into it. Uh, it won't, it's not going to fix my permissions issues, though. Um. <laughs> no, <laughs> it will not. <laughs> uh, all right. So I have just one for. I was going to do two, but I'll, oh, actually, I do have two. I have two. I have, I have a tip and I have a pick. So the tip: if you're going to mount your external hard drives with FS tab, use the no fat, no fail flag do it okay that way if you disconnect the hard drive you can actually still boot into your machine <laughs> okay uh, matt's an idiot i knew about this just never had used it because it just always just left it as defaults instead of with the no fail flag so just always use no fail if you're going to have an external hard drive uh, and it will boot right into your machine w without any problems if you disconnect the hard drive so just do that that's your tip my pick, my nuggie of the week, is Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I, I'll probably use books for a while, just because I, I've kind of run out of software stuff, because I use the same software all the time. I'm not finding new software as much as I, as I want to, so it's just easier for me to, when I read a new book, I'm going to tell you guys about it. Tress of the Emerald Sea. It is part of the Cosmere, so, y you know, yes, technically, it is part of a series, but it's actually really good as a standalone. You don't need to know anything about the Cosmere. You don't have to read, have read Mistborn or any of the other Cosmere books, which, of which there are literally 10,000 pages worth of other stuff out there. Uh, that, that guy is puts Stephen King to shame when it comes to really big books. Uh, but Treasure of the Emerald Seed is about 350 pages, so it's really small. Characters are fantastic. You know, Plot's really good. He also had, you know, to compare him again to Stephen King, they're not, he obviously doesn't write horror, he writes fantasy, but he also can't do an ending very well. So the ending was not great. You kind of could see it coming. That's not my only complaint about it is the ending wasn't as good as I'd hoped it to be. But the rest of the novel, very, very good. Trust of the Emerald Sea, uh, highly recommend it. So those are the Nuggies of the Week. And that is the Linux cast for this week. Again, uh, I, I also completely forgot to change the scene back to, to me, so uh, I just did all of that off video. I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a while. Uh, I don't... If you expected professionalism, again, as I said at the beginning of the show, just, you went to came to the wrong podcast. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's it for this one. If you want to watch us live, we do this every Saturday. I say every Saturday with emphasis, because we do, in fact, do this every Saturday, just except for the Saturdays in which we don't do it, in which case, whatever. Uh, but we do it every Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch this live at youtube.com slash linuxcast. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this live, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Or hit the like button on the, the edited version when you get to this point. If you did get to this point, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. You can contact us in any number of ways. The best way is head on over to the website where you'll find all of our contact information. Uh, Tyler is on YouTube. He says he's making YouTube content again. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh -huh, <laughs> like uh -huh. I, As you I, should. As I you should. have face. I have face. I have face. I have faith. <laughs> <laughs> I have a face too, but also I have faith that he's, so. going, I, that he's going to do it eventually. Uh, just, he eventually comes back. And anyways, youtube.com slash ZanyoG is where you can find him. You can also head on over to the linuxcast.com, excuse me, the linuxcast.org slash contact. There you'll find all of the rest of our contact information, in, including links to the Discord server, Matrix server, which, by the way, is, if anybody's actually using the Matrix server, Good on you. I haven't been there in months. Um, it's still there. It still exists. You can follow us on uh, Odyssey and Peer2, which is TIL, TIL Vids. All that stuff is there. The, the newer versions of my 
videos should now make their way over to TL to Pier Two again. Uh, I cleared out some space earlier today, so that should that should uh, start syncing up again as well. So that should be good. Uh, you can the website has all of the blog posts and all of the previous episodes all the way back to season one. So that's the, the LinuxCast.org where you'll find all that stuff. Patreon.com slash LinuxCast if you want to support us, that'd be great. Tyler also has a, his own Patreon stuff that should be linked on the on the web page as well. I'm trying. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm doing it from completely from you know memory and failing spectacularly so uh yeah that's it for us you this time great. yeah it's great it's, it's fantastic you only missed half of the shit you're supposed to talk about <laughs> <laughs> and you did it all out of order <sighs> that's it for this one again every saturday three o'clock p.m eastern time we're gonna do many in a row now i promise even if one of us can't be here the other one will carry on in uh in their stead and we'll find guest hosts or something uh anyways that's it for this one. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Oi. Oh, hold on. Say hold on. Hold on. It's not over yet. Thanks to everybody who does support me on the Patreon. Patrons. YouTube. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon.com. If you support me on Patreon, thank you so very much. I didn't forget you. I forgot you for a minute, but I remembered very, very fast. Thanks for your support on Patreon. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Again, we will see you next time. <laughs> We're really gone this time. We're really done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs>